Section 8, Example 3. Arne says saves 50 pence and 20 pence coins in his bank. Let X be the number of 50 pence coins in the bank. Let Y be the number of 20 pence coins in the bank. Altogether, there's 60 coins in the bank. One marker to get going. Write down an equation in X and Y to illustrate this information. Pretty straightforward. Right, there's an X number of 50 pence coins. There's a Y number of 20 pence coins. There's no other coins involved. If there's 60 coins in total, that means... If you've got X number of coins plus Y number of coins, they must total up to 60 coins. And that's equation 1. That's my one marker for A. Okay. Part B says the total value of the coins is £17.40. Write down another equation in X and Y to illustrate this information. Well, there's X number of 50 pence coins and Y number of 20 pence coins. Altogether, this totals up to be £17.40. So, pretty straightforward, 50X plus 20Y. Just be careful, we're operating in pence here. So I'm going to change this £17.40 into pence. There's 100 pence in a pound, so it's multiplying by 100, and that's 1,740. That's equation 2. <clears throat> Part C says, hence find algebraically the number of 50 pence coins Arne has in his bank. Right, so a number of 50 pence coins, and that means that I'm concentrating on finding the value for x. Okay. So I'm going to look at finding the value of x. So I'm going to get rid of y's here and I'm going to just scale up this plus y up to 20y and multiply the first equation by 20. That will give me 20x plus 20y. is equal to 60 times 20, and that is 1,200. And that's example 3. This was in the calculator paper, even though 60 times 20 can be done without a calculator. So, next thing is the signs are the same. So, I'm going to subtract. <laughs> now, I could do 2 take away 3 or 3 take away 2. I don't want to involve negative numbers. Just cut down the awkwardness, so I'm going to do equations to equation 2, take away equation 3. 50x take away 20x is equal to 30x. 20y take away 20y goes. 1740 take away 1200 will give me 540. Because it'll just move that up there. X is equal to 540 divided by 30. Well, again, it wasn't a calculator paper, but it could be done without a calculator. I could divide top and bottom by 10, and that would be 54 divided by 3. 54 divided by 3 is 18. So, pretty straightforward, x equal to 18. Now at this point, I'm just looking to explain my answer. And there are 18 50p coins in the bank. And at that point, the examiner has asked you a question, so they'll be looking for you to give an answer down and an explanation. And that's the end of the question. Okay, section 8, question 4. The graph below shows two straight lines. Y equals 2x minus 3. 
x plus 2y is equal to 14. The lines intersect at the point P. Find algebraically the coordinates of P. Right, so you can see that the equation of one of the straight lines is y equals 2x minus 3. The equation of the second straight line is x plus 2y equals 14. We can definitely interpret this question as simultaneous equations because simultaneous equations get you the point of intersection of two straight lines. So I'm going to first of all call this equation y equals 2x minus 3 equation 1. This one will be equation 2, x plus 2y equals 14. Now again, a strategy here that we can use is to try and get both equations in this form where it's letter, letter, number. So this is letter plus letter is equal to number. And I'm going to adjust equation 1 so that it looks like that. So I'm going to bring the 2x across and make it minus 2x. And that will be minus 2x plus y. So 2x comes across becomes minus 2x. y stays where it is. Minus 2x plus y is equal to minus 3. And that's still equation 1. Now I've got options at this point to either try and get rid of x or to try and get rid of y. So there's not much preference here, so I'm going to say that I'm going to try to get rid of x's. So I'm going to scale this up. I'm going to multiply equation 2 by 2. So if I do so, x becomes 2x. 2y becomes 4y. And 14 will become 28. And that's equation 3. Now I'm getting rid of x's. The signs are different. That's a plus and a minus. Signs are different, therefore I'm going to add the equations. So I'm going to add equations 1 and 3 and just communicate that to the examiner. Minus 2x plus x goes. y plus 4y is 5y. And minus 3 plus 28 is 25. 25 divided by 5 and y is equal to 5. I'm looking for the x coordinate. So I'm going to sub this y equals 5 into one of the equations. And it doesn't really matter which one. For me, the easiest looking one to put into is equation 1. So where does y replace it with 5? So instead of y equals 2x plus 3, as you can see, or 2x minus 3. Where does y? I'm going to replace it with 5. And that will be 5 equals 2x minus 3. I'm just going to swap that around. 2x minus 3. Is equal to 5. Put the minus 3 across, make it plus. 2x is equal to 5 plus 3, which is 8. x is equal to 8 over 2, and that's 4. The important point about this question is it does say find the coordinates of P. Now the question is really looking for me to communicate that as a point in brackets. So I need to make sure that I communicate that properly. The x coordinate is 4, the y coordinate is 5. Therefore I'm going to say that POI, point of intersection, is 4, 5 and that is the end of the question.